Uh, I'm so delighted that all of you are here. My name is Nishit Desai, I'm the founder of uh, Nishit Desai Associate. And uh, it's a great delight that uh, we are doing this event. Every year, it's an annual ritual. And uh, until recently, we used to have this program for half of the day. Uh, but then for last couple of years, we started seeing uh, not only opportunities, but also in terms of, I think, our obligation to look at the social sector. I thought, uh, you know, I'll talk more about uh, uh, the macro situation in India currently. Um, you know, I assume a lot of people here and had the pleasure of meeting people during lunch. Um, people seem to be focused more on, um, you know, cross-border work between India and US. Um, so I thought I'll give a sense, especially sitting in Delhi, um, I see a lot of the policy initiatives of the government. So there are a few structures that you can explore when you're uh, looking at India-focused funds. But essentially, what is relevant uh, for foreign capital is relying on a tax treaty when you're making that investment. And one of the most significant changes, at least as far as tax is concerned from Indian perspective that has happened in the couple, uh, past couple of months, has been the renegotiation of the Mauritius Treaty. Earlier uh, in the FII regime, uh, only the broad-based players could register uh, and make investments, portfolio investments into India. But uh, SEBI has uh, brought this uh, new category, whereby now even the non-institutional investors like uh, corporates, uh, family offices, or for that matter, individuals also now could register and uh, make portfolio investments into India. In 1991, when India opened up, it was still a very protectionist economy. And you had a lot of rules and regulations that applied to foreign investment. A lot of sectors were not open yet. And since then, you have seen a gradual liberalization and in the new government's terms in June 2016 what we saw was a radical liberalization not a gradual liberalization. Now again <clears throat> with the Mauritius Treaty being renegotiated you know the debt investments have got a new thrust because whatever you whatever Indian company pays out will only be subjected to a 7.5 percent withholding tax in India which will most likely be and you know you will get a credit of it against uh, the Mauritius tax which is about 3%. Some of the initial funds which were making allocations to India were primarily raising commitments from global LPs. The Indian HNI segment, the Indian family offices, they were pretty much missing out on all the action, all the value that was created out of India. I think the first important lesson is uh, never show desperation of doing a deal. And uh, I had two classic situations which I encountered. Uh, one was when one of the corporate clients was looking at selling one of the businesses. And uh, this was a time when the business was doing well. But the CEO of the business had, a, had an indication somewhere that in the next 12 to 24 months, this business is going to get heavily regulated, which is going to substantially reduce the valuation of the business uh, in the next 24 to 36 months. 